So today we are being chased by time. In today's tutorial, the focus is on modeling a floor plan in five minutes, which I can then output. We come here and have our Pinpoint project, Pinpoint Modeler. Pinpoint software can be rented for 119 euros per month, can download raw data from the scanner, register, clean, etc. until you have them here. Now we proceed to this location. Firstly, we go to this location and intend to set the coordinate system to zero. I mentioned that this location is not suitable for it. That means I need to go to the edit menu, select coordinate system and ensure that my zero point is accurately positioned in the corner of the workspace. My orientation should remain as it comes from the scanner. I take the XY coordinate here, then say, that's my Z. And then I'll take my Y direction for my wall and say, you are my Y. Now my coordinate system hangs at zero. Using that method, I am able to hide it. It can be concealed with the help of C. So now we have hidden it. Now we want to model the floor plan. Let's start with the first room, activate surface. The reference surface is our XY plane coordinate system. Click, hold the reference level. First wall approach. Click, approach second wall. I'll take the front wall here. One can now discuss whether to model the back wall or not. But that is not part of this video. The second corner. The third corner of the room is empty. The fourth corner, close the polygon. The first room is almost finished. I will give the room a name. Please click once to proceed with the next step. Also deactivate function, click. We call it the bathroom. So then extract the data, capture the polygon shape and retrieve its information accurately and precisely. Pull up to the ceiling. Confirm done. Let us move to the next room. Let's start here in the middle so you can see a little something. Maybe we can model the surface again in this area. Snap ref level, fix so I only have to drive along walls. Catch first corner. Our vision is impaired. No need to worry. Click here, click here. The first point has already been taken. You have the option to make it smaller by using Alt and the mouse wheel. I'm going to move forward a bit here. We have to go up here because the door is in front. Let's make that a little smaller. Do we have our point there? Then we take the level again. Choose the green one positioned here in front, as that is the door. Click. Proceed back to this location once again. So, then we have here the view from the window from the bed. So let's take a look at the end the once again. Then we have the corner. Then this and that. Then we have the corner. Close. This is the desired output. So then we give names once more. Additionally, click on polygon. Enter names once more. I will just mention sleep for now. Press enter. So proceed to extract the data accordingly. Click. Kindly confirm the process has now been successfully finished. So and then we enter this room, which is the bathroom once again. Now we proceed to this location called element. Now we need to attempt to zoom out a little bit. So that way we will be able to fully see the door. Then we can say door. At the back right is the stop, meaning we remove it here. Now we click on the front polygon going over it. The second polygon represents the outer boundary. Our door is hanging there. Currently we have another adjustment here. Let us move it to the level. Oh, that did not work out. Therefore there is the door available for... Let us go out. It is already quite tight on time at this moment. We should hurry. Now we move towards the window. The next stop is the rear polygon area. Window is there. Do we need to pull it somehow? All right. Then we have the region in this location. We relocated to that place. Okay, please confirm that. Do not be troubled by the perspective. Deactivate. So fundamentally, we have already modeled and planned our rooms in advance. I am no longer able to provide much information. Now we will move on to generate floor plan creation. Select two polygons, i.e. rooms to include in floor plan, floor plan, floor plan. Reference level, once again, our XY plan. This is the level. Please press it. A floor plan has been successfully created for your reference and convenience. Special feature here, you have the dimensioning here. You can add additional measurements here. You can go in here and say this and that. For example, then I have a measurement here. I can add and yes, then we choose save here and select DXF here. Please select the plan that you want and then click on the save button to save your selection. Thank you for choosing our service. Save. How much time? 
528. Okay, the initial boot killed me. I have my plan here. Double click one more time. We currently have our plan in computer aided design, CIED format, available here for reference and further modifications. One of the special features of this tool is that when you go to the layer structure, you can see the individual layers. This feature is particularly helpful because it allows you to have point full cuts in relation to the output, which in turn enables you to verify your modeled lines. I believe this feature is pretty unique and very helpful in ensuring the quality of your plans. Although it took a minute longer, I could have turned three more times, but I chose not to. Just a reminder, you will need a total of six minutes. Wishing you a nice and productive week ahead.